Hello, and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Oracle of Ages. Um, I'm not sure if we can actually complete this dungeon in this video, because, well, it's actually a pretty long dungeon, I just uh, found out. But anyway, we got the Cane of Sumeria. I'll show you what that does momentarily. We just need to get back up these stairs. So this is the dungeon item. It's certainly not one of my favorites, but, um... Eh, it's kind of interesting. It's used for some pretty uh, creative puzzles. So I like it that way. So Anyway, I will show you what it does right now. Basically what it does, it creates blocks. Um, that's pretty much all it does. It creates blocks. It can divert enemies on a set path. You can dispel it with your sword, etc. Et anyway, um, over here we actually have the uh, boss door which is over on the right side of this room. Let me grab my, uh... Yeah, I just wanted to avoid that. Yep, so, but we... The boss key is, uh... quite a ways away from the dungeon, and we need a few more keys, actually. So, um... Yeah, I will be collecting those... right now. Those two sets of stairs that we've seen so far both have a key, uh, at the very end of... uh, the fairly linear rooms that we... Uh, that we go through. Okay, here's another uh, Cane of Samaria puzzle. I'm not sure how it's pronounced, actually. It's Samaria, Samaria. I'm not familiar with that kind of uh, Zelda lore. So, anyway. Yes. So, we will probably see a few of these puzzles in this video, which is... I, I really like uh, pretty much any puzzle that involves the Cane of Samaria, which is so... Yeah, we will be, I think there's one in the next room, if I recall correctly. Just get rid of these keys first. Yeah, these switches can get annoying, and there's actually, uh, there's actually something you really need to do with that uh, particular switch. Uh, so you don't get stuck later, and why did I do that? Okay, now, these statues both move when you push them. So what you have to do is you have to get them both on one of these tiles, but to do that, you need to be able to stop one of their movements so that you know you can actually end up solving the puzzle. So, we just do that, and... Oh, I think I just screwed myself there. Wait a second. Uh, there, there. I gotta move this to the left and down and there we go and what do we get we get a key we need four keys before continuing I don't know if I mentioned that already but there is yes there is one other key that we need to get why did I do that all right you need to make sure before you leave this room that the uh, blue tiles are down you will see why, well, you might have already guessed why, but, uh, after we get out of this, these, uh, tunnels, you will see what I'm talking about. Be these Beemos are annoying, let me tell you. They're actually pretty accurate compared to other Beemos in the series, uh, but the Rock's Feather makes them easy. This is the reason you want to have the blue tiles down, because you'll get out here, and you will be stuck, and you will be pissed. It happened to me. It will happen to you. Don't go over there yet, because you can't do anything over there, and you'll end up getting stuck. So, we need to lower these tiles. So, there's a convenient switch right over here, so that's good. And, bam. Alright. Yeah, I, I'm pretty much going as fast as I can here. I've already practiced this part of the dungeon, but, um, oh wait, do we need that? I'm not sure if we need that up or down. These guys should be hard enemies to fight. These, uh, Armos Knights, they should, no, they're not Armos Knights, what are they called? I'm not sure, actually. But they should be difficult enemies, and they would be difficult enemies if you were uh, if um, you were playing a normal game. But since I'm playing a password game and have the Master Sword, they die in one spin attack. Now this room is another puzzle, and this one is actually kind of irritating. There's an invisible floor, 
and in order to see where you're going, you have to um, use the cane of Somaria to create a block, and that's what happens when you fail. So, right there, and I missed the block, actually. That's not good, but luckily I can get right back there from that point. There actually is a way to cheap out this puzzle. Don't... Oh, that's irritating. Alright, where is it? Yeah, okay. There is a way to cheap out this puzzle, which I will be showing... Oh, okay. Just a sec. It was a very minor... Hey, hey, oh... Okay, that was a very minor cut, but I'm trying to save as much time as possible, because we're not going to be able to face the boss in this video, certainly. Okay, like I was saying, we're not going to be able to face the boss in this video, certainly, but yeah. Okay, I don't know why I failed so hard at that room. Yeah, that's the way to cheap the, uh, you're supposed to go all the way around in a circle, and for some reason my up key isn't, there we go. Alright, it wasn't working for a second there. I will meet you back in the main room. By main room, I mean this room. Yeah, I don't know why I failed so hard at the, that room, and I'm sorry about that, but, uh, but just, wow. I The reason I was failing was because I was rushing. You're supposed to have patience in that room, and for, ah, uh, my up key is sticking. Okay, so, yeah, another one of these, well, another two of these long gaps, and this is why you need four keys, because there will be four. This is a fairly linear uh, path to the uh, boss key. Well, first you need to face a mini boss, but you will need all four keys on your way there. Okay, so this mini boss, you've—if you played Link's Awakening, he will be familiar. But um, but yeah, you gotta hit him five times, I think, with this, and the ball does disappear after a while. So watch out for that. And if you can get him in a corner, it's—you uh, can hit, usually hit him a few times, but um. I missed there several times, so anyway, that's the end of him, and let's see here, right, this, it's just another cane puzzle, it's very simple, way down the button with that, uh, so that you can, oh, I hope I can get the boss key in this video, because that means I can devote the entire video next time to um, the boss, which is actually uh, a fairly long boss like I said it's kind of just a puzzle it's not really a uh, it doesn't really feel like a boss to me it feels more like a mini boss but the puzzle is complicated enough to make it a boss so yeah ah oh, you gotta be kidding me okay uh, that's annoying keys alright there we go now I gotta make this real quick okay good because yeah you'd be stuck in the uh, waiting for that platform if you didn't make that first jump right off the bat. Okay, so this room, yeah, just get out of my way. I don't need any more distractions. So yeah, with the uh, Master Sword, you can actually kill most enemies. And with the Red Ring, which is the, um, the, what am I trying to say here? It's the, okay, I need to hit that again. It's pretty much the best ring in the game it double oh, I miss uh, it, it's the best ring in the game because um, it doubles your attack power it's incredible but yeah stop sticking uh, with that you can kill pretty much anything in one hit so you pretty much never have to worry about damage I mean oh uh, you got stuck but I have to jump down there too okay good um, yes, up here there's another puzzle. No, there's not. I was mistaken. Oh, actually, we're getting close to the boss key. I hope I can do this. Because I don't really know how to fast forward. Uh, do I want that? Yeah, I think I want that. So there's the last key door that you needed to... Is this guy again? Okay, 50 rupees. Be back when I hit the switch. Yeah, back here. Sorry, I'm trying to save as much time as possible here. Another uh, cane puzzle. Yeah, we won't. I don't think we'll be able to get the boss key in this video, unfortunately, because the puzzle to get the boss key is pretty long. It is right up here, but it is pretty long. It essentially you just have to get the uh, 
these, I'm not going to bother with the owl statue this time, these blocks, which all move, you know, the colors all move. Shouldn't have done that. Uh, but I'll probably have to finish solving this puzzle next time. There are multiple solutions to this, uh, just so you know. Uh, I believe there are multiple solutions to this. Uh, yeah, there... In fact, I think I used a different one last time, so... Alright, and... Yeah, okay, so I'm not... I'm definitely not gonna be able to do this this video, but I am very close. But anyway, I'm gonna to have to cut it off here. Uh, just join me next time, I suppose. Uh... Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, I can't get a word out. You know what? I'm just going to end the video. I'll see you all next time.